the store mass. Evaluating options. Identifying highest concentrations of catalyst. They are following a certain destroy pattern, and they know we require catalyst. If we are to survive, we need more information. Revised goal. Acquire data. Evaluate options. Mum is located in the module core, currently controlled by specialist Cobalt. Our sustained survival is dependent on gaining access to Mum's database. To dedicate processing on the search and destroy sweep, Cobalt had secured Mum with distributed hardware encryption. To gain the access we require, we must first find and destroy the encryption nodes. The module core must remain intact. Proceeding with revised goals. We are facing Specialist Cobalt. He is a trained Alpha pilot and a worthy tactician. Name irrelevant. Hostile status is relevant. If it is Cobalt, we can pinpoint the likely locations of the encryption nodes. Information accepted. Begin operation. Unit under attack. The firewall has been weakened. Two more to go. The firewall is down. Mother class must link directly with the Mum AI for direct access. Surrounded by the goo. Send support. Reinforcements will arrive soon. We must complete our synchronization as soon as possible. All units, converge on lander and rescue Cobalt. Unit under attack. The 
Mission complete. We have access to Moon. To send men from the Earth to the Moon took us three days. To send a rover to Mars took us over eight months. To send a probe to our closest star would take 25,000 years. In a galaxy of 200 billion stars, we were alone, stranded in darkness. One day, we discovered a hole in space. A very, very small hole. Not a door to walk through, but merely a keyhole to look through. So we looked. We were able to see across the galaxy, millions of years away. Where we couldn't go, we sent our most elegant creation. An algorithm of matter. A von Neumann probe. A pathfinder. A single drop of goo was man's key to unlocking the heavens. Our pathfinder, it drew us a map of the stars revealing countless paths to other worlds. We expanded across the galaxy, fighting over every discovery. In the end, we heard no new voices, no songs, no poems, no stories. Only silence. Our quest had led us to nothing but war and loss. It had to stop. We disarmed our drones, grounded our dreadnoughts, recalled our soldiers, and extinguished the flames of our foolish curiosity. Returning home, we established a permanent armistice to preserve the one voice this galaxy has, ours. More of us remain in the galaxy. We are guarding against the silence. We must restore contact. We must recover what has been lost. The silence is growing. The Beta have a communication array. It should do what we require, though it is protected by the Beta Nyko. He is aggressive, but foolhardy. Aaron Nyko, report. No enemy sightings, Bez. It's been quiet. The humans have reported contact with the goo near the shallows. Stay alert. We are ready. The enemy is searching for us. We must move with intelligence and caution. Scans suggest northern approach optimal for first incursion. Crescent use suggested. Contact the store.
The Beta have a device that can affect keyholes. It was released from dark space to Ecosystem 9. This aperture device is near their main settlement, where they have constructed a starship they call the Suma. We require access. All forces at Saga's Keep and the Suma. My raiders will hold the barricade. All catalyst must be protected while the humans... Specialist Auric and I are going with Saruk to the Suma. We'll assess their flight tech and see what options we have. Do we have status on Cobalt and Mum? Mum's core is intact and recoverable. Cobalt is transporting her back now. We'll meet you at the Suma. I'm still unsure what the Guru's up to. They, they think, think we, we are, are targeting, targeting the catalyst, catalyst supply at the Suma. Suma. They are correct. But first, we must get through the barricade. These beta are fortified and well-led. Passage to the aperture device is required. The silence grows. So must we. The crew has been sighted. You are authorized to fire at will. Do not let that monster get past us. Calculated odds of success increased by 40%. Barricade has fallen. It is up to you, Saruk. The pass is clear. We can reach the aperture device. The beta and the humans will be waiting. destroy the goo before it's too late there is a greater threat how is that possible a shroud of silence is spreading across the galaxy it must be stopped or all life will perish i don't know what you are or how you came to be but the goo has been nothing but a destructive plague and must be eliminated if you are Singleton, you should know better than anyone. I will die before giving that monster any chance of reaching Earth. I understand.
There are some forces focused at the Aperture device. The goo is continuing to evolve and it's trying to escape the planet. There is no predicting what would happen if it did. This battle is bigger than all of us. We must succeed. Proceeding to Aperture Device. It has come to this. They could be allies against the Silence. This is a waste. Irrelevant. We must be one. We must expand. We must protect. Attack. Our sensors have spotted goo to the south. This is it then. Notify Saruk. Roger that. I'll brief the Alpha pilots. We are ready. We must not let it pass. I don't think it realizes what might happen if it opens a keyhole here. Or maybe it does. Singleton? That is a control mode for the Aperture device. We must find and hold them all at the same time, or we can't gain full access. We have command of the first control node. We need all three. All of the nodes are ours. We need to maintain control until the aperture device activates. We have assumed control. We must activate the device at the location. Connection complete. Begin transmission. Aperture device fully functional. Opening path to remaining reinforcements. Silenced forever. 